Hello, Human Flea here, back with another episode of Wars Roshi 3, where we last left off, we finished the Battle of Donku! Unlocked a bunch of characters, and recruited some new allies. Now in order to help it eight Now in order to help distract the demon army, we will, we will be proceeding to the Battle of Wida Castle, and reliving Sima Zhao's past. This is gonna be a fun map, due to a... Uh, well, you'll see when we get to the map screen. In order to change the past and prevent the downfall of Odoar Castle, Sima Zhao traveled across time. His destination was the Resistance Army's base at Wida Castle. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It was being defended by Wang Yuanji, Wang Yuanji, who had a strong connection to Sima Zhao. In reality, Wang Yuanji and Sima Zhao were actually married couple. Yep. Originally, Sima Zhao fought against the Demon Army together with Zhuge Dan, Sakon Shima, and Zhang Lao. There, they heard of the danger that faced both Wida Castle and Odawara Castle. They divided their army in two, with Sima Zhao headed towards Odawara Castle, while Zhuge Dan and the others made for Wida Castle. Despite their efforts, Wida Castle still fell, and they also failed to save Odara Odawara Castle. Man, that plan backfired completely and utterly, and now all your friends are dead. Oh well, load last save. Lol. Sima Zhao was determined not to let the same thing happen again. He made a strong resolution to do whatever it took in order to restore, rescue those people that were important to him. Please, Juge Dan, you have to believe me. Master Sima Zhao, what are you trying to say? That you've seen the future? Okay, I want to stop and talk about Juge Dan for a moment. First of all, I don't know if it's just me, but does he look like every single movie asshole ever? Like, whenever there's like a corporation or something, and there's just one guy who's just a sleazy asshole, does he not always look like that? Slick black, slick back hair, brown, angry face all the time. What? Like, seriously, he looks like <laughs> he looks like every single movie asshole ever. Also, his name. I'm sorry, but I just find it funny. You have people like Zhang Lao, Sima Zhao, Xiao Xiao, and Zhu Gay Dan. It just Zhu Gay Dan. That's it. <laughs> Here we are facing our greatest threat yet, and you insist on telling these jokes. I'm begging you. You have to take me with you to Ueda Castle. Well, if you're willing to beg like that, then it seems pretty clear to me that you're serious. Normally, you just say, what a bother, and be done with it. Okay, that guy just screams badass samurai. Plus, he's a giant-ass clever cleaver, whatever. A clever cleaver. There's no time to sit here and argue. I suggest that we head to Wida Castle and with reinforcements. Jang Lao, Twin Axes! I would not want to fight him in a battle. Thank you. Now let's hurry. To save my girl. To save Wang Yuanji. You mean your girlfriend? She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> so as you can see, this battlefield is going to be fun because we have two different armies to fight. Dong Zhuo's army and Yuan Shao's army. So basically, three army, free for all. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be fun probably explain a few things. I will be playing as Hanbei Sorry about that, got stuck. Yes. Uh right, let's give him his weapon or items, I guess. Should try and find some during the level. I think I know where some of them are. But no, so yes, yeah, so we have a three-way battle going on. I should probably explain who Dong Zhuo and Yuan Shao is. Actually yeah, I'll probably have time to explain during the fight, so... Oh yeah, we actually have Sima Zhao in our party, too. Except we're not using him. <laughs> okay, so what we have to do for the first part is rendezvous with Wang Yuanji. So that means we have to get to the top left corner. So I should probably explain who Dong Zhuo and Yuan Shao are. 
they're both from Dynasty Warriors, both actually controlling, both their own base and separate armies. They're not part of Wei Wu or Shu, they're their own individual people. Yuan Yuan Shao was one of the leaders of the Yellow Turban, of the Yellow Turbans, a rebellion group that actually, the Three Kingdoms, I think it's before the Three Kingdoms actually formed, they all worked together in order to put a stop to him. He's basically like a cultist. That's the best way I can really describe him. And here you can see that at our, just our, by our appearance alone, they have decided to work together to try and kill me. Don't I feel special? Yo-Yo of Doom. Oh, right, Hanbei's actually leveled up a little. Oh, oh, crud, I forgot to give him a distribute. I forgot to distribute him his points. So, yes, one of our people we're trying to kill here is a creepy cultist. Yang Zhuo is, um, basically a big evil fat guy. Like, just, he just looks disgusting. Okay, not sure what happened there. Swing! Basically, for. He actually is a bit special because he commands. He commands one of basically the biggest badass that Dynasty Warriors has ever seen. Uh, if you don't know who he is, I'm not going to go in ahead and spoil it, so. <laughs> I think I'll go into the north entrance. Uh, you might want to hurry up with these guys because they will actually be able to kill everyone. Like, you have to. They will actually kill the people there, so you have to be a little bit fast. But yes, basically, in this game, he's trying to collect all the beautiful women in the world to create his own personal paradise. Truly, he is a... Screw it, I can't even go ahead with this. He's a selfish bastard who just wants... He's basically a big, fat pervert who wants all the hot women for himself. Yeah, that's really just how you describe him in this game. <laughs> So, our enemies are a cultist or a pervert. Ugh. They're not even trying to make it so that they, you'd be supposed to like your opponents at all. Okay, if I kill him, then they should be able to take the last guy. Now, before I can get to you, Wang, you want... Screw, I'm just going to call her Wang. That's gonna be confusing. Woohoo! Cutscene! So once you get into the, once you rendezvous with her. Ugh. A new challenger has appeared! Taishichi! Don't worry, he brought his beating sticks. <laughs> okay, now we get to kill everyone. I'll be heading down toward... Ah, there's a fat man himself. <laughs> Do I even have to say anything about him? Oh, God, he's actually following me. Uh, well, better go take out the annoyance. And there's the creepy cultist. I can fly! Fly! <laughs> oh, yeah. Another thing about this game is that Yuan Chao is always accompanied by Hammerjaw. He's a suck up. He's he's literally just a kiss kick it. Kiss ass. I said kick ass. I love how they ran right past their target and try and attack me. Makes me feel special. <sighs> Guo too. When people explain how you died, you can say it's by that giant bladed yo-yo. So what Wang Yuanji will do is actually lead Dong Zhuo's forces away so he can take care of Guan Chao. Funny thing is, whenever I do this, I always end up going after Dong Zhuo first. I don't know why, he always seems like the bigger target for me. But I will actually follow orders this time. <laughs> and take out Yuan Chao's forces. Let's hope they can take care of Dong Zhuo. Hello! I'm here to kill you! Whee! Jeez. I love all the messages. Like, the messages have to catch up with me. I'm killing these guys so quickly. 
if you say they're gonna get reinforcements, that's just jinxing it. Jeez, it's called adventure. It's called adventuring 101. If you say things are going good, they're going to go bad. There is the cultist himself. Oh yeah, you want Chow in this game? I forgot how to actually explain what his motives are. He wants demons and humans to live together. Quite noble, but the way he's going about it, and eh, not quite noble. And there are the re told you not to jinx it, you asshole. Jeez. Uh oh. Quite really, Jugadan, you can't. What you're supposed to do in a situation like this is kill everyone all at once. So now I have to go rescue Yuanji. Zhang Hui! Probably the best hair in the entire game. Also has five floating swords for some bodily reason. I don't even know why. <laughs> the only mistake you made was trying to kill me. Okay, rescued her. I find it kind of funny that the... Well, no, it's like you're trying to make the... Oh yeah, the girl's gonna go take her, take her on their own? Okay, yeah, it's good. Right. And here you gotta see something special. Depending on which battle you do first, the other battle will actually say, Oh, they cleared the- they actually were able to defend or capture- Like, when you have simultaneous battles, they can actually say, like, Oh, they actually succeeded in the other place. Woohoo, and it raises our morale. So if I were to go back and do Don Ku again, it would- after I beat this, I would say, Oh yeah, they beat We at a Castle. I was like, Oh, cool. Then everyone gets motivated. Kinda cool like that. Oh god damn it, the fat man tricked me. Fear the compass, for it points to your doom! Oh, okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. It's annoying. You go to the timeout corner. Oh, crap, so one more. Langba. Hope you enjoy glowing compass shoved up your ass. Can't tell if you enjoyed that or not. Mm. Yeah, I should probably go rescue everyone. Because I'm awesome! Wow, this might actually be a pretty short episode. Well, relative to the other ones at least. Hello, fat man with the bombs! Seriously, his only motivation is literally being a pervert. That is his, is his character's motivation. Being a perfect. <sighs> if only he would, things would be a lot easier. So yes, once you killed Wan Chao and Dong Zhuo, you win. If you have two players, I suggest sending one person up to face Dong Zhuo and the other to face Wan Chao. Makes things all go by a lot quicker. Divide and conquer. Then rape and pillage. Is Zhao really from the future? Once again with these lies. I wish you of all people would take talk some sense into him. I believe him. What's that? You believe me? Even a crazy story such as this? Let's just say that at the very least, I know you're not joking. Are you finished? No. We will never be finished. Whatever the case, you saved my life. I shall fight by your side from this day forth. Why he was with her at the first place, I have no idea. Like I said, strange alliances in this game. And now the brand new allies. Zhang Lao, officer from Wei with the twin axes. Tai Chi Chi, officer from, officer from Wu with twin beating sticks. Jeez, all we need is an officer from Shu with twin whatevers, and we have a friggin' rounded out team right now. Wang Yuanji from Jin. Sima Zhao's. Sima Zhao's fuck buddy. <laughs> With the throwing knives. 
Jugay Dan. With a fan. I'm not joking, his weapon is literally a fan. Made out of feathers. At least he dresses nicely. Sakonshima! From Samurai Warriors. Admittedly, one of the only ones that actually looked like a samurai. With a giant cleaver! Oh, that's it? For some reason, I thought we had more. Well, that was like five, wasn't it? Oh, I didn't get any items for this. Damn it. Oh, yes, you can only carry eight weapons total, so... You have to figure out which ones you want to keep, which ones you want to get rid of. Oh, we did get five people. And now we have some more battles unlocked. Battle of Shuchun. Battle of Nagashino. Oh, that's it? Oh, right, there's only two. And now a bunch of water. Okay. So, I think there's going to be a cutscene after this one, to be honest. Yeah, I believe there is a cutscene. Once it loads. Or not. Okay, so what... Alright, so we did clear both the stages. After you clear both the stages, this will happen. But, it turns out we did not... The castle's still surrounded. We didn't divert the forces enough. So, we had to go cause some bigger commotion. See, Mijiao will head towards Shuchun. And Machao is headed toward Nagashino. Then Takanaka... <laughs> Sorry, I mispronounced that. Takanaka! We'll go to Odawara Castle. Woo! Now, let's see if I can unlock any side missions. Nope, that's still the same. God damn it, I want, all I want is a side mission. To show what they look like. Can you really be so heartless? <sighs> okay, let's take a quick look at what the future holds for us. I really like how all, like, all the stages have to have, like, well, at least all the main stages have like a little web created between them. So, Battle of Shuchun. With Sima Zhao. In the Battle of Nagashino with Machao. Hmm. Let's... Okay, now I remember what happens in these maps. <sighs> oh well, I guess I'll have to wait for next time. See you guys later. And remember to vote for whoever you want you to see me playing with next. Bye!